Bangladesh, a country located in the Bengal region of the Indian subcontinent, is the eighth most populous country in the world and the most densely populated, excluding some microstates. With over 166 million inhabitants, the population is spread across an area of 57,000 square miles. Mexico, which has a smaller population of 130 million, has an area of just under 772,000 square miles. This is why some researchers comment that Bangladesh has more population than its natural resources can support. Some of the problems that come with this overpopulation include deforestation of the Himalayas, congestion in the capital city, Dhaka, the need for more food, and increased pollution. But there's much more to know about this exotic and beautiful country. Stay with me to learn about how people live, its most extreme curiosities, what you should never do if you visit, and much more. Number 1. The problem of overpopulation is especially evident in Dhaka, which currently has more than 20 million inhabitants and is considered the least livable city in the world. Nearly half of the country's jobs are concentrated here, and it is where the best institutions and medical services are located. The population density is extreme, with over 121,000 people per square mile. To give you an idea of how large this figure is, Madrid has a density of just over 2,000 people per square mile. Mexico City has 15,000, and New York has 69,000. This concentration of people causes pollution and health problems related to pollution. Number 2. The country's overpopulation can be observed in a frequent event in Bangladesh, trains packed with people clinging to the sides and roof. As you can imagine, this is a problem. First, because it causes accidents and deaths. And second, because it slows down the speed of transportation. This is also known as train surfing. And it doesn't only occur because people want to save on fares, but because there aren't enough trains. Those who can't get on have to walk, and if they have to cover a long distance, they take buses, vans, or even boats. Number 3. In Bangladesh, maritime and river transportation is widely used, for which there are peculiar passenger boats with up to three stories, which commonly carry more people than their normal capacity. You'll see people everywhere, and very likely exceeding the boat's capacity, so accidents are common. Over the last 25 years, there have been about 250 accidents involving ferries alone, with around 2,000 deaths. Number 4. Climate change is a particularly serious problem for Bangladesh, not only because of its high temperatures, which recently reached 106 degrees Fahrenheit. Also, most of its territory is less than 12 meters above sea level and could be flooded if sea levels rose by just one meter. Number 5. Natural disasters are abundant in Bangladesh, such as floods, tropical cyclones, and tornadoes. It is the sixth most disaster-prone country in the world. Number 6. The official state religion is Islam, with around 90% of the population belonging to the Sunni branch. Hinduism follows with just over 9%. Number 7. The country shares the world's largest delta with India, called the Ganges Delta, which is actually formed by the mouths of three major rivers, the Ganges, the Brahmaputra, and the Meghna. Number 8. The Bengal Tiger is the national animal of Bangladesh. The national cricket team is known as the Tigers. Meanwhile, the national tree is the Mango. Number 9. The Sundarbans Reserve, located in the Ganges Delta, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site for its natural wealth and boasts great biodiversity. It is the largest and most diverse mangrove area in the world, home to endangered animal species such as the Bengal Tiger and the Ganges River Dolphin. Number 10. In the Sundarbans, the local population performs religious rituals in honor of the Dachshund Ray, the Tiger God. In this region, 30 to 40 people die each year from Bengal Tiger attacks although the actual number is likely much higher. This does not include those who survive but are left with scars and permanent damage. Number 11. It is estimated that there are between 300 and 500 Bengal tigers in Bangladesh, putting them at risk of extinction in the country, although their numbers have grown in recent years. Poachers kill them for money, selling their body parts. Additionally, villagers may kill them for safety reasons. Number 12. In the Sundarbans, there are pirates who operate small boats and engage in smuggling, kidnap locals for ransom, and may hunt tigers. Although many of them surrender, 
They pose a problem for authorities because it is difficult to move through the area due to the density of the mangroves. Moreover, there are dangerous animals, not just tigers, but also saltwater crocodiles, Russell's vipers, king cobras, and Burmese pythons. It is estimated that between 2,000 and 6,000 people die each year in the country from snake bites. Number 13. A traditional mode of transportation in Bangladesh is human-powered rickshaws or bicycle rickshaws, which arrived from China in the 1930s. These are small two-wheeled carts pulled by a person on foot or with an adapted bicycle. It is estimated that in Dhaka, 40% of transportation is by this means. Rickshaws today are decorated with expressions of Bangladeshi urban art. Number 14. As in many other countries in Asia and Africa, the left hand is considered impure, so never use it to take food or to greet someone when visiting. The right hand is used for eating, passing food, or handing out business cards. Number 15. Bangladesh is the most vegetarian country in the world, as its population consumes only 4 kilograms of meat per person per year. It is also one of the least obese countries in the world, alongside India and Vietnam. Number 16. In this country, as in others in the region, the use of bindi, or tip, is common. It is a decorative element consisting of a painted dot on the forehead, slightly above the center, between the eyebrows. It is known as the third eye, or the sixth chakra or Ajna Chakra, the place of wisdom. Number 17. Although cricket is the most popular sport, followed by soccer, the national sport is kabaddi, or chanting. It is extremely unique as each team sends an attacking member whose mission is to capture a member of the opposing team, and while doing so, they cannot breathe, which they demonstrate by continuously singing. The game is 4,000 years old. Number 18. Rice and curry are the most traditional ingredients in Bangladeshi cuisine. Curry is a mixture based on different spices used in the Indian subcontinent for stews or dishes with sauce. The minimum number of spices in curry is 12, possibly reaching up to 16, and their combination varies with each family. Number 19. The famous traditional attire for women in Bangladesh and generally in the Indian subcontinent is the sari. A long piece of lightweight silk or cotton is wrapped around the waist, with one end passing over the shoulder, exposing the midsection of the abdomen. It is worn along with a short-sleeved blouse or shirt called a choli and a long skirt called a parker or alpawadai. Number 20. A traditional decoration for women during festivals is the temporary henna tattoos on their hands, featuring beautiful and intricate designs. It is mendi, a form of body art and temporary skin decoration. Number 21. Another type of body decoration typical of Bangladesh and neighboring countries is the use of alta, ala, or mahawar. It is a red dye applied with a cotton swab or brush to women's hands and feet for wedding ceremonies and festivals. Number 22. The largest festivals in the country are religious. These are Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha. Two important celebrations in the Islamic calendar, the day before Eid al-Fitr is called Charat, or the Night of the Moon, and it is usually celebrated with fireworks. Number 23. One of the largest Hindu festivals is Durga Puja, in honor of the goddess Durga, the inaccessible or the invincible, a multi-armed deity carrying weapons and a lotus flower. It is celebrated in the month of Ashwin, according to the Hindu calendar between September and October. The fortnight corresponding to the festival is called Debi Pako, or Fortnight of the Goddess, in Bengali. Number 24. In its cultural diversity, Bangladesh celebrates both Buddha Purnima, which commemorates the birth of Buddha, and Christmas, called Borodin, or Big Day, the latter celebrated by the Christian minority. Number 25. The Bengali calendar, also called the Bangla calendar, or Bangabda, is the solar calendar used in Bangladesh. It usually begins on April 14th in Bangladesh and consists of six seasons, each lasting two months, summer, monsoon or rainy season, autumn, dry season, winter, and spring. Number 26. The Bay of Bengal, which borders Bangladesh to the north, is the largest in the world, covering over 772,000 square miles. Number 27. It is the main shipbreaking country in the world. The city of Chittagong is famous for its shipbreaking yards, with 80 shipbreaking yards along a stretch of coastline just 13 kilometers long. It is the largest in the world and also one of the most dangerous jobs in the world.
Number 28. Known as the banker of the poorest of the poor, Muhammad Yunus won the Nobel Peace Prize in 2006 for his work to eradicate poverty through microcredit. To date, he is the only Bangladeshi to have won a Nobel Prize. Number 29. The Bishwa Ijtema, or Global Congregation, is an annual gathering of Muslims in Tongi, on the banks of the Turag River, on the outskirts of Dhaka. It is one of the largest peaceful gatherings in the world, lasting for three days. Number 30. It has a national fish, the Hilsa. It is the most coveted edible fish in the Indian subcontinent, and Bangladesh catches 86% of the world's supply. In fact, the Ministry of Industries declared it a product of Bangladesh and requested a denomination of origin. Number 31. The national dish is Hilsa fish curry, dating back to the 18th century, which is prepared in a sauce made of ground mustard seeds, green and red chilies, turmeric, and kalanji, or black cumin seeds. Among the national beverages are chai, a sweet and milky tea, lassi, or liquid yogurt, and coconut water. Being a predominantly Muslim country, alcoholic beverages are prohibited and difficult to find. Number 32. The consumption of betel quid, also called pan or bida, is widespread. It is a stimulating mixture of crushed areca nut, a palm with lime, tobacco, flavored with cloves and cardamom, all wrapped up in betel leaves. People chew this paste, which produces a lot of saliva, leading them to spit frequently. In fact, one of the cultural shocks for people from other countries visiting Bangladesh is seeing so many people spitting in the street. Number 33. Bangladesh is the second largest global exporter of Western brand garments. The textile and clothing sector has produced around 60% of fabric for European buyers and nearly 40% for American buyers. Number 34. Women cannot bathe uncovered in public neither on beaches nor in rivers, so no swimsuits in Bangladesh. Men often dye their beards and hair with henna. Initially, it appears as an intense reddish-brown. Then, with washes, it turns yellow. Number 35. In many areas of Dhaka City, there is no running water in houses. Women go with a pitcher to the communal fountains to collect the vital liquid and take it home. On the other hand, groundwater is heavily contaminated with arsenic. Number 36. There is no public education in Bangladesh. All schools are private, so it is necessary to pay for education. Number 37. In Bangladeshi celebrations and receptions, men socialize separately from women. In most restaurants, you will find separate areas for both sexes. Number 38. In Bangladesh, burping, once you've finished your meal, is seen as acceptable. It is a sign of satisfaction or an excellent meal. Number 39. The fruit of the jackfruit tree is the national fruit of Bangladesh. It has a massive fruit that grows from the trunk, and it is said that its taste contains the flavor of all fruits, slightly acidic and deeply sweet. It reminds you of a mix of mango, orange, banana, apple, soursop, papaya, and pineapple. Number 40. Despite the issues already mentioned, Bangladesh is one of the fastest growing economies in the world reducing its poverty levels from 40% to 13% in just two decades. Its main activities are agriculture, manufacturing, industry, ship construction and deconstruction, finance, and tourism. Number 41. The average salary in Bangladesh is around $260 a month, and as you can imagine, the cost of living is low. In Dhaka, in central areas, it is more expensive, but moving to the outskirts and surrounding towns, prices decrease considerably. Eating can cost less than $2. Taxi transportation is also very affordable, with fares starting at less than $1. Going to the cinema costs less than $5, and renting a three-bedroom apartment outside of the city costs around $140. Number 42. In the city of Cox's Bazaar, a fishing port and tourist destination, you can find the world's longest continuous beach, stretching for 75 miles. However, it is a dangerous coast, given the abundance of sharks. Number 43. In 1770, there was a great famine in the Bengal region, now Bangladesh, because the British forced farmers to cultivate opium for export to China, leaving no room for growing food. More than 10 million people died. Number 44. Bangladesh is one of the youngest states in the world. Having separated from Pakistan in 1971 after the War of Independence, 
which took place between West Pakistan, what is now Pakistan, and East Pakistan, what is now Bangladesh. India's support for East Pakistan and its subsequent independence is one of the reasons for the current rivalry between Pakistan and India. If you want to virtually visit one of the strangest countries in the world, check out this video about Iceland. Let me know in the comments what you liked most about Bangladesh. Give me a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe with the bell icon to not miss more videos like this one.